Hey guys, what's up? So today we've got BTS Black Swan. BTS Black Swan. I've never seen this music video before, so I'm really excited. We all know that these K-pop bands have just amazing production value. I mean, from the sets to the costuming, the dance choreography, everything is always top notch. So I'm really excited to see what they did with this one. I'm guessing it kind of has some similarities to the uh, Black Swan film, maybe. Uh, you know, maybe some ballet aspects, I'm not sure. But I'm excited to see it, so let's check it out. Wow. Okay, so we are starting out. It's got uh, some ballet aspects to it already. We're in an amazing theater. Holy crap. This thing looks amazing. The lighting is super dramatic. I mean, you're sitting there with all of these extremely dark patches in here, but you're getting so much of that architecture. I mean, they are really featuring the hell out of this whole theater, which I mean, I would too. This thing is beautiful. I don't know where this is at, but that is a phenomenal building. Wow. Okay, so that's really cool. They have the uh, the shadow is dancing, and you know we have our artist just sitting here in the front in the foreground. We've got that shadow dancing across that beautiful mural. I feel like this has a lot of in uh, sync, no strings attached, bye 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 music video vibes. But uh, a lot of these, a lot of these K-pop videos that I've seen lately, at least from BTS and uh, some of the solo projects from their from their members have had this very uh, 90s vibe happening. And it's pretty cool. That was a really cool cut with them spinning across and then doing the, the frame wipe. That was clever. And then going to a completely different uh, section of the theater, it looks like. So, well, well thought out. Okay, this straight up shot is really cool. Uh, I mean, I love the architecture that, I mean, this, whatever theater is just amazing. I can't get over how incredible this set is. This is a really cool angle because you're clearly, uh, you've got the camera placed on the floor. He's probably on a turntable as the camera is spinning with him. So he's actually probably on a platform to get him up off the ground because that camera is going to have to be, you know, easily you know, at least a foot or two off of the ground just for it to be able to look up. But it's a really cool shot. And it's not one you see a lot. So that's kind of, it's interesting that they made that choice, but given the surrounding area, I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, feature this theater as much as you can. It's gorgeous. Ooh, pulls down, drop dance number. Also, I'm noticing there's a lot of different hair colors here happening and I don't know. Should I, should I dance? Should I dye my hair? I, I don't know if I could pull off blue. Also, uh, a very significant person in my life has blue hair. So I don't feel like I could, you know, cop that style from her, but I'm thinking red. Yeah, maybe red. Maybe when, maybe uh, in the next one we'll have red hair. We'll see. Okay, that was a really cool cut too. The way he comes forward in the dance number and then it transitions immediately into, that's a just a really good cut. They really love these in-camera transitions 
with uh, the dance choreography. Obligatory slow motion shots of each of the members. We love that. So most of these shots with the hyper contrast and everything like that, they're using a single really heavy source of light, just blasting it. And then they're using practical lights throughout, but mostly those are accent and feature lights, kind of like what you see back here. You know, those aren't really lending a lot of illumination to the room, but they're there and they look nice. Also on a lot of these shots, you get uh, a very shallow depth of field. And what that is, is when your subject is in focus in the frame, but everything in front of it and behind it are blurred out. So right here, we've got three members of the band, they're dancing, but the person singing is in, and you'll, you guys will have to forgive me. I'm sure blow it up in the comments. Tell me who this is. I'm horrible at this right now. I am pro I am trying to learn. I promise you that. But right now, I, I don't know the individual members, so help me out, please. But right now, in this frame, we've got him singing in the kind of the mid-ground almost. The background is all blurred out. Even the two dance, uh, two members behind him dancing are also not in focus. But then you see that his hand is also in front of him, and that's also not in focus. So what that tells you is that it, they're using a longer lens and they're further away because they're zoomed in on him. And what that does is make a shallower depth of field so you get a lot of that blur around and you've got to be really accurate with your focus pulling when subject matter like subjects are moving because they can move in and out of focus really easily when you have that shallow a depth of field but if you can nail it, it looks so good also one of the other things like the costume in this is as expected phenomenal and i think it's always really interesting watching some of these groups because again, back to the 90s type boy band style, you've got each individual person and they've got their own kind of style. It's thematically the same, but the style itself for each individual person is a little bit different. And I think that's pretty cool. Oh, that is a gorgeous theater. All right, that was BTS Black Swan. It lived up to everything I expected it to be. I've also heard that their live performance of this has been phenomenal as well. Again, I've never seen it. Maybe that'll be another uh, live performance video that we take a look at sometime. But for now, thanks for hanging out. Catch you on the next one.